What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. Spending 7K on a lawyer to get my 20K wedding ring back just to feed it to the trout. Boy, you can't make this stuff up, man. Goodness gracious. She's a runner, she's a track star. Unreal, bruv. It's sad. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to- Bro, I hate it. this look. Shots fired! It, to me, they look like humanized cats. It's like all these women are looking the same. It's like a carbon copy. Like they go to the plastic surgeons and they're like, I just wanna look like this. <laughs> if any guy you want. I've got a really good feeling. This is why they tell you to take her swimming on the first day. What is that? If you came home and I was in your kitchen, what would you do? I'd tell you to make me a sandwich. Shots fired! Get to cooking. One, you have to clean as you go. Like you have sanitation buckets everywhere. Literally every five minutes or so, you do a wipe down. So number two, use the right cleaning products. You can't just go to the dollar store and buy the bottom shelf stuff. You have to have Rachel, something. I have an odd philosophy with chefs. I feel like if a chef isn't fat, the food ain't good. <laughs> Is that, is that bad? Do you guys agree? I feel like if a chef is like in really good shape, the food just can't be that good. Strong, but something that doesn't kill everybody either. And number three, don't be a lazy ass. If you're lazy, you don't like to clean, this job is not for you. I'd listen to the head chef since he's the pro, and I'd grab you the best cleaning supplies so you can't complain about not having the right setup. Or slap. I think I'm a, I think I'm a pass. So I'm, I'm pass? Pass, pass why? Yeah. This guy's... Are you OF Girl's entire personality is just sexualizing themselves. We've truly stooped to some low lows, man. Sir, what about us or a Mercedes Benz? Oh, Benz. Uh, depends, uh, what, uh... What less mileage. Depends on, uh, like, y'all mindset and stuff, you know? We just want to have a fun. Mm. So y'all are Mercedes Benz? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, might, I might take the Benz. Benz? Yeah, I might take the Benz. Good on him. Good on him. We gotta end this simp epidemic, man. Stop simping on these OF girls, bro. Her socks don't even match. Why? You don't want this? This gonna make you too, I promise you. No. <laughs> Not anymore. Thank you. My guy made the women best are, decision of- Women hypersexualize themselves so much that now I'm like desensitized to it. It's like, you leave nothing to the imagination. It's like women just walking around wearing nothing. It's like, ladies, it loses its appeal after a while. What is this? Please. I don't understand! Sorry. Out there. And ladies get mad at us for having a beard, but then y'all be doing that? Math. The math doesn't math. This lady needs to be at Hogwarts because that's some wizardry. How are you even doing that? I don't understand. I'm not, I'm not here. I'm there. I'm there, but I'm not here. How did, how, what, we, I, just, I don't know. How, how do you do that? How exactly does that work? Couldn't have. It's insane to me. She looks like an alien in that one. And afterwards, I mean, she looks reasonable, but good lord. Girlfriend, to me, I don't like I don't like a lot of makeup, though. Do you let her have all No. What if she, like, bought you a car? Say it. All trash. Even if she bought you a house. I don't get two, hey, two given, none. Do you watch porn? Yeah, but free. <laughs> Morals are worth a whole lot more than a car. <laughs> At least he's being honest. <laughs> At least he's keeping it a buck. And you did it. Never. Virgin. Virgin? Good yeah. for him. Would you date an OF girl? No. No. Why? Five ninety nine now? That's crazy. But you said That's you That's what knew I'm saying. These girls are, you can pay five ninety nine a month to see every bit of her body, but yet she wants you to take her on her expensive date? Boy, miss me with that. He's like, would you date me? No. no. My guy wasn't about to throw away. Imagine introducing your mom to a woman that's been ran. Come on. It should be done in 25 minutes. The pizza? Yeah. You're paying this time? I'm paying. All right. Drive safe. It'll be done in a few minutes. Okay. Oh, wait. I forgot my wallet in my mom's car. Oh, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thanks, babe. Mm, mm, no. no. I'll just cancel the order. <laughs> we'll find a way to fit the kitchen <laughs> sink. In this dude's always based, though. He's funny. I've seen a lot of his content. He's good. He's so based. I don't know too many that could post up like this. Bro, this is the ain't got nothing to offer post. Shots fired! If, a, this is, if this girl is, pose, is posting this, this is the all I got to offer. Nothing else to offer but this. Any girl could take an pick. Next. One of one? There's a million girls that look exactly like you. Facts. Next. 
Gotta watch how I move because I'm the investment. I thought girls weren't property. A house or a business is a investment. That's not an investment. Next! Women don't really put in too much thought when it comes- An investment insinuates a return. Now, you can invest in a good woman, but a lot of these ladies are for the streets. Now, this camera situation is hilarious. If the day goes good, can they lead back to the, his car and make out? No, 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 no. Probably not. Probably not. Cap. Hey, Why not? You I don't kiss on the first day. You gotta work out the second day. Honestly, honestly, John. Second day, you can have a kiss, but I don't know about a make out. Okay. Stop, honey. I know Chad is beating those guts up. <laughs> if she's making you wait, another dude hit it on the first date. Put it on a freaking t-shirt. Third day, hook up. No, absolutely not. When does it take for a guy to hook up with you? I don't hook up with guys. When does it take for a guy to sleep with you? I don't sleep with guys. Stop lying. <laughs> what do you mean? Thank you. <laughs> and don't forget to clip things, guys. If, if, if anything's funny to you, you like it, make sure you clip it so I can put it on like uh, YouTube shorts and stuff. I don't sleep with guys, especially on the first, second, or third day. So when? But you're out in these streets. Uh, when I have a ring on my finger. Oh, so you're a virgin. Yeah, I know. No, hell I know. No. I know. So are you a virgin? Um. Gotcha, she's a runner. Went from being on her high horse to saying. kicking. So I, they got to do it on marriage. Come on, stop. When do you fear for your safety when a man cat calls you? 100%. All the time. Now, I'm not excusing it. Why is cat calling such a She looks a big like that girl from um, Shameless. What's her name? Deal. I think cat calling is such a big deal because I'm not out here dressed like this. You can give a little pan of the outfit this is not for others view this is for me and this is what i feel most comfortable in this is not the lie detective determined that was a lie oh! on an invitation for you to come objectify me you're or objectifying just yourself though honey this is what i don't get like these modern women like Women are marketers and men are salesmen. We're only going to take you as serious as you're presenting. If you're presenting that you're wearing scantily clad, uh, clad clothes, say that ten times fast, um, then that's the way, the way we're going to perceive you. Decide that this body is meant for you. It's mine. Okay, and, I, and that's fair. I agree with that. Now, um, for a lot of women who say they dress for themselves, why do you often see women walking around in uncomfortable shoes and skimpy outfits when it's freezing outside? Because I made that money, and I'm going to spend that money on some cute heels, and I worked on this body, and I'm going to show it off. No, no, I get that, but I'm just saying if they were dressing for themselves, wouldn't they be comfortable? Yeah. I think that me in heels looks a lot better than me in just a pair of sweatpants. I do feel better, and that is still for me. Even if it's not the most comfortable, it feels good to me. Apparently, no one can objectify her because oh nobody can objectify her, but she can objectify herself. Do me a favor and watch this video. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I. Five Spice has got to be. Uh, she's got to be over shaking her butt. Her entire career has been shaking her tushy. My back, my lower back would be hurting <laughs> if I would shaken my butt that much. Was some of the most mirthless twerks I've ever seen in my life. That right there was purely contractual. Somewhere in her contract, she's just making sure it gets satisfied. She's very money orientated. That's the face that a nine to five make when their request for time off gets denied and they do the work anyway. And I'm sorry, why aren't the fans saying anything? Y'all just cheering this shit. Put your cameras down. Throw her some water. Y'all want to see her shake bad y'all don't even realize she's over here dissociating modern women will have you believe I she's mean, but that's that's i spice's entire career is her shaking her rear her entire career is her shaking her rear <laughs> that's what she's made into not this chick a little donation she's a runner she's a track star the milk stupid <laughs> got milk <laughs> oh this is a grown woman this stuff is so awful bruv terrible so awful with guys and why would that be so he asked me what's wrong and i said i'm fine you wonder what he said i would cool. be willing to bet i already know the answer to that question Sweet. as most likely does everyone else he said okay good <laughs> who here is surprised Duh. that he said that what do you mean okay good what well, part Stop of it. i'm fine means that i'm fine what's wrong with these people <laughs> please take the following into consideration 99 times out of 100, if a guy is told by a woman that she's doing fine, he's going to believe her. Or else he's going to assume that she doesn't want to talk about it since she said she was doing fine. Why press the issue? Lady J. Guys Soul tend based. to take things at face value. Mm -hmm. If you wanted him to ask about how you were feeling or argue with you that you're not doing fine, just be honest. For Tell him you're not doing well. Don't play games. Don't expect him to be a mind reader. Just... Tell him what you're actually feeling. 
it's not really that hard to figure out. She wants... Yeah, women are emotional, though. It's just how they are. They're emotional creatures. A caring man is better than a handsome man. And that is why I go for rich men. And rich men are going for kid girls, for pretty girls. Shots <laughs> fired! Not for brothers. <laughs> women want a man... <laughs> They're going for pretty girls. Oh, my God. Oof, that's got to be a brutal gig for the get for the dads. I just be like, I'm just gonna drink this beer and they should make a separate vibe out and dude. Here, here, I got, a, I got a good business idea. Loki, does somebody want to carry it? Free, sit, wait. Free, go to your place. I got a great business idea. In every mall, in every store that sells women's clothing, there should be a hangout section for dudes. Chat, do you agree with this? I feel like they would make a bucket of money because when you go out with your girl shopping, there's never an area for us guys to kick it, ever. But if like when you were going to Victoria's Secret, if there was like a little back room for the dudes to go sit there and there was like a game on the screen and then there was like an Xbox on this side and a PS5 on this side, bro, we would cash out. We'd be like, baby, stay at Victoria. We would be wanting to go to Victoria's Secret because we'd be m meeting other guys there. If they had like a pool table in there, a little cigar bar, a little whiskey bar. Bro, I'd be spending my money at Victoria's Secret if that was the case. Chat, let me know. Would you do that? They need to put a little men's hangout section in all the places that are just women's only that men have to typically go to. Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, Bed Bath and Beyond. Like, I don't want to go to those places. But if they had a little hangout sesh or a little hangout room, hell, I'd go. I would definitely go. The things against their will. What is that? <laughs> what is that? The split. God. Jamie, show me the relationship with her father. She could be the. What in the H E double <laughs> hockey sticks is that? Okay. Bro, baby girl, her face is 10 shades lighter. Why you can, oh my God, can't they match the skin tone? Look at her hands and her face. What is that? The hairdresser waved her brush around like she was a magician, but that's more of a curse. You good at geography? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, kinda. What's the capital of Ethiopia? Egypt. Egypt? Yeah, how'd you know? What is the capital of Ethiopia? I have no idea. Geography is probably my worst subject. Let me know in the, let me know chat. Do you know without, without Googling it, do you know? I got uni. So at uni? Okay, well I got one for you, yeah? What's the capital of China? China? North Korea? Uh, pff, Shanghai? Yeah? North Korea? At where? This broad said North Korea. Do you know? Just uni. Did you yeah. get uni together? Yeah, yeah uni together. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Uni the only together, right answer yeah. would have been complete. Uni together? What makes him not professors your need to be fired and extradited. Type. Um, he's too slim. Big and back, just, big back. I think the hair, um... Too I slim? Just, You're built like a linebacker. Shots fired! The Cowboys are calling. Don't feel like braids is like something for an older guy in his 30s. Just, I mean, just my opinion and, um... <laughs> I know you end up popping her balloon. Why'd you end up popping hers? <laughs> um, not really my type. Um, Big it as hell. Seems hungry. Maybe 34. I didn't. I didn't see that, but uh, I thought she was a little bit older, and so that's kind of why I popped. Well, when but, you get plastic surgery, it makes you look older. Chat. Let me know what you think. I think when women get a lot of like plastic surgery, they end up looking older than they actually should. Okay. Yeah. She, she knew 40. he was out of her league and beat him to the reject. Yeah, yeah. She looked forty. You, bro. Dude, dude. This is so fucking itchy, bro. What the fuck? Do you want a man? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cleo, what the fuck you got going on? My head's itching, bro. That that is definitely time for that week to come on, bro. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. Just wear your natural hair. Cass is half black. She's white, Thai, and half black, and she wears her natural hair all the time. Now, she'll go get braids, but she never wears wigs. I'm not a huge fan of wigs. Um, chat, let me know. Do you guys like wigs? I just, I'm not a, I'm not a fan, bruv. I don't like wigs. I really don't. To all the chicks I try to talk to you back in the day, 
and now you trying to talk to me now? I don't want you. Sorry, I'm up baby. Now. <laughs> baby, your arms is flappy. Your arms flappy as shit. You damn near can fly. I went to a pool party yesterday. Seen a chick I used to like. This got seven rules on her back now. Gonna swim up to me and tell me I be playing. Nah, you be playing. You need to go hit that gym. Just want to talk to me now. Three baby fathers later. Ooh. Section 8 voucher and Ooh. a Honda Odyssey van. Ooh. Any chick that drive a Honda Odyssey van got kids and always have her sister kids. I'm not about to be no stepfather and no uncle. Like, for real, like, shorty legs rubbing this shit down. Her shit used to be spaced out like a fork. <laughs> now that's cooking. a bun without no hot dog in the middle. It's always together. A full circle moment. <laughs> you know what I call the flappy arms? I call them bingo wings. Because <laughs> the old lady's like, bingo! I call them bingo wings. Chat, what do you call them? I love calling them bingo wings. The I think should be for the girls only, not the guys. Tampons. <sighs> Number one, wearing a seatbelt. Thought you were going to drive in. Stupid. General safety, not for men. Just be reckless. You're not? Okay. <clears throat> Number two, windows. Don't need windows either, chat. Just, you know, let the wind hit you in the face. What do you need to see so bad? That's what I thought. Number three, laughter. <laughs> Don't need to laugh. Don't do that. Number four. To Nick. Going to the pool. That's not for you. Can't go swimming. Thank you. Breathing's probably wow, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Bre is breathing up there. Oh eating. My, I'm so sorry. It's not gonna be screaming. Oh my god, god you guys, I'm so sorry. Please. Please. We ask you to leave. Please let me you talk to you. That's uh, it. Please, God, no, no, no. That's I can't it. do this. Okay, I want to leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please don't do anything. I'm sorry. I'm gonna play her her back real quick. I can't. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Please, God. What in the dog biscuits? No, please. You guys, I'm so sorry. Stand right here. Oh, my God, please. Hey, Tyson, drop. Tyson, drop. Don't move. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. Please. Don't move. I won't. Anything you say. <laughs> that, was, that was horrible. No, I won't move. I swear to God, I won't move. I swear to God. Is, is your IV in here? Oh, is your She's IV moving. Taser, taser. <laughs> It's in here. Yes. Where? It's in there. You guys, I'm so sorry. Can I call my mom, please? Stand right there. My mom. Call mommy. Don't move. Where's your ID in? Which bag? Ma'am, which bag is your ID in? I'm so sorry, you guys. Listen, please. 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 You guys, please. please. I'll do anything. You guys, anything. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. How much you got in your checking account? I'm so sorry. I'm I need so a wire. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ma'am, stand so right here. Sorry. Do not move. You guys, I am so sorry. Please. Please, it's Valentine's Day. I'm alone. I'm so alone on Valentine's Day. Please, God, don't do anything for, for me. Please. God, please. No. What happened to you? You. No, that was not me. Yeah, it was. That was not me. No, it wasn't. Ma'am, you guys are perfectly fine for 14. No, it wasn't. Well, 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 if it isn't Look the consequences. Look at that, the consequences of my own actions. I don't know the law to that, but I can't assume it was good. Two, one, go. Hey, tell me something. Tell me a duke's Is it a man? It looks like a man, man. man. Oh, no. His only two options were to lose that <laughs> arm wrestling do, or you lose his life. That's right. a man, man. You guys, hey, you're not going to be let into the concert tonight because of Look how little... drunk they look. This girl's like, huh? <laughs> a bit too intoxicated because you've had a little bit too much to drink. Well, I have tickets. It doesn't matter. They've already told us they're not going to allow you in regardless of your tickets. Why? Right? Because you've been drinking Ross, too much. Ross is telling me that you're telling me that. You can hardly yeah. stand up straight, man. Sure, you've had a little bit too much to drink. Why? Okay, listen. They've to told me. you three times because you're too drunk. You understand, okay? I know you're upset, and that's all right. You're allowed to be. We've but been waiting here since. So I know, I know, but you also had a little bit too much to drink. No, we haven't. Okay, no, well, I'm they're serious. not going to let you in, so here's my advice to you, okay? Go ahead and head home and find something else to do this evening, okay? 
we have our tickets. I understand. They're not going to honor your tickets. We weren't even here all night. I understand that. We've been waiting here since one. I know, and it's unfortunate, but they're not going to allow you guys in regardless of your tickets because you're too drunk. You can't You can't be intoxicated and come into the event. We're not intoxicated. Yes, you are. I can smell the alcohol coming from here. You guys, you guys can choose to stay here or not. That's your choice, but you're not going inside. Okay, so on my advice is just to Why don't you test us? Because I have no reason to test you. They have the ability to <laughs> not... All the people in the back looking at them just like... <laughs> stupid. <laughs> ...honor your tickets if they don't want you inside. They are saying Why you're too you drunk. Test us? I'm not going to test you. Who said this? The organizers of the concert. We Do... know someone that is... Okay, the then you can we test them with your friends. Okay, great. Then you can text Why don't them. We just can't deal with rejection. If your complaint tomorrow, it's a wrap. Today we will. you need to go we home. Okay? Okay. We need to go home. We need to go home. We need to go home. Listen, listen. Where's the waterworks? I want to see the crying. You can process what's happening for a second, and you need to go home. Okay? Now, this could have probably been handled. Bro, just don't get wasted in line. Who gets that drunk in line? You've been waiting all night? What have you been doing this entire time? I was 19. Oh. Do you think it's less weird for a 19-year-old to have fans than for a 19-year-old to date a 31-year-old? I mean, you are correct on we're both consenting adults, but like from a personal perspective, it's just weird. But so then why is it okay, for example, for a 19-year-old woman to be distributing graphic photos to these men, but she can't have like a loving monogamous relationship with an older man? You totally can have one. Right, but it gives you the ick. It's weird. You're saying the reason it gives you the ick is because you think it's a f***ization of older men with younger women, right? Wouldn't you say that a woman who is an anomaly and is like six foot ten, that most of the people who subscribe to her fans are going to be doing it out of a f***? Yeah. And that doesn't give you the ick? It does, but I'm getting paid for it, so I don't even care. So, if the younger... <laughs> That one woman make this is that girl that's like what she's like six ten. Uncle must be a giraffe. Good lord. Woman is with this man based on resources. Isn't that like she's getting paid for it? Yeah, and I support that. Yeah, I support that, right? Of course you do, honey. <laughs> double standard this, double Good standard that. Lord. I look at most people is the way that God looks at everybody. Like I already believe that everybody is at their highest, even if they're not, because you don't want to treat them less than that. Hey, I don't believe that is true. I don't believe anything you just said is true. I think that you judge people right off the bat before even looking at their highest self, because you look to disqualify the man. You don't look to qualify him. So you look for things that is wrong in the man. So if he is your type and he's very attractive, he comes up and he's like, Hey, baby girl, what's up? You're going to be like, no. <laughs> disqualified, or he just says the wrong thing. Disqualified, so you always look to disqualify men. Men are different. We look to qualify a woman. She could have a butter face. Everything look good, but butter her face. face. Qualified, she could say all the wrong things. Don't matter. Even if her breath's stinking a little bit, it's like... And maybe it just stunk that one time. I'm going to give her another chance, though. Let's give her another chance, right? One more chance. One more chance. One more chance. So what I'm saying is men look to qualify the traits in a woman, and women look to disqualify men. So with that being said, I would say that men are the true romantics. Women don't look at I agree with that 100%. Chad, do you agree with that? That men are the true romantics? I think we are. Before my husband. My husband is lean. What the hell is that? So, how do I... Hold on, hold you still on. Hold got on. a man's name tattooed on you, even though how long you been married? I've been married four years, but this was my first husband. He's why deceased. Didn't, why wouldn't you get that removed? He is deceased now. I don't, care. I don't want with, no man want to see no other man's name on your chest. When well, you my my husband is from Jamaica. He don't really care. Whatever the reason, no wow. guy wants to know. I remember back in my day when a good old woman would know how to just submit to a man. And would appreciate what he could bring to the relationship and really just know how to be a good helpmate to a man. Nowadays, modern women have just lost their way. We have no chance these days, fellas. It's brutal. I'm fan saying anything. Y'all just cheering me. Where are we at? I don't really care. I don't really care. Who'd on his spouse? Unreal. My hinge date took me to Disney World. Disney wasn't enough for her. Some women just can't stand to see men happy. Oh, 
this is this would be dope. But chat, I would be hyped if a girl took me to Disneyland first date. I would be so gassed. Disneyland first date? That would be lit. Are you kidding me? What are you even talking about? <laughs> I'd be I'd be jumping through the moon. That'd be so much fun. Being a pervert. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. The fact that she saw him do that means she was watching him in the mirror waiting for a reaction. For real. The entitlement is crazy, and a large part of why some men don't want to go to the public gym anymore. You guys have made it to the end. Well, and then from what I've seen of that clip, that chick did get trespassed and her membership was revoked. Miss what you get, you play stupid games. You typically win stupid prizes. Loki, go to your place. Go, go, go. Hopping into the Reddit. Let's get into the Reddit here. This is from Beautiful Disaster. Shout out to you, buddy. Jessica, 27. This is Tinder. I'm on Tinder because I noticed... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. Uh, this is another one from Cultural News. Let's see if I can't get I in I played here. a midwife, and it meant that I was going to be... Okay, let's jump back in. Maybe it'll show. No, here, let's do it right here. Do it here. Here we go. I played a midwife, and it meant that I was going to be elbow deep in as the entire time I was shooting. I'm listening. <laughs> Seriously, I showed up to work one day, and nobody bothered to warn me that um, I, somebody was giving birth, and she was actually, actually going to be. What? Well, uh, but it was an actress pretending. But she was at, like she took off her underwear and I was kneeling and she was standing. Slower, slower. <laughs> my, and the camera was behind her and my face was in her. Yeah, well, this is the greatest movie I've ever heard of. It was scary. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. The first time you see one, they're pretty frightening, but but soon you learn to love them. <laughs> That's a good clip. That's a good clip. <laughs> This is another one from Cultural News. Who the hell do you think you are? Uh, my name is Stone Cold Steve Austin, and maybe uh, you like. I don't know. Maybe you don't understand that I'm Stephanie McMahon. Uh, you look lovely tonight. Uh, what fragrance are you wearing? Oh, <laughs> I get it. Well, you're grabbing hold of my head. You're flirting with me, aren't you? <laughs> dude i miss i miss like the 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 badassery era yeah this is such a good era of wrestling and the way you grab my hand uh, maybe you'd like to give old stone cold a kiss <laughs> Ooh, i think not i wish you hadn't have done that I'm gonna give her a stunner now. Then again, I'm kind of glad you did. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. It was such a good era of wrestling, bro. Chat, let me know. Did you guys ever watch wrestling, dude? I watched it so much as a kid. Um, so much as a kid. Appreciate you throwing those in there, cultural news. Uh, those are some good clips. Jump in the Reddit. It's just reddit.com slash r slash Levi Nix. This has been a much easier way to react to things you guys want me to react to. Jump in there. We got 98 members. Shout out to you guys. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you enjoy today's episode? 
I had a good time. I had a really good time. Some good laughs. Um, really do appreciate you guys. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. And cop some merch. Some other guys have been buying merch. We got the Drizzle Drizzle Kings and some of the other shirts there. Um, but yeah, man, keep it a buck. Really enjoyed you guys being here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.